Okay, today I'm bringing the MSI Pro Z 690A. Now there is another one for the wireless version, but for $20 more, you don't have to if you want to. This is gonna be a desktop with a uh, ethernet DDR4. Don't have a DDR5, it's very hard to get, so I sticked up with DDR4. Windows 11 compatible, TMP 2.0, which this is BitLocker encryptions. Um, ready for 12th gen card so i'm going to take a look at it and see what you get so let's go ahead and open it up look at the actual motherboard if you can see it um pretty thorough it's easy it comes with instructions of course they give you a, a whole list of instructions how to set up uh an actual the cpu and a fan of course the jumpers that need to be installed from the desktop right here uh and msi certification and i don't know what this is but it's a cd <laughs> uh io shield a couple of razors uh risers for the m.2 including their screws and a SATA connection, and then here's some more SATA uh, M.2 M screws. Now, let's take a look at it, and I'm gonna switch our camera so you guys can see a little bit more thorough inside. All right, we got four memory slots, if you can see that, real simple, uh, DDR4 only, all right? Uh, we got the slot for the 12 um, generation compatible ready. Uh, we got our connections for the uh, the CPU connection, of course. Motherboard, 24 pin motherboard, of course. We've got plenty of jumpers here. Connection for fans, if you guys can see. One, two, three, four, five. And then these are, are actually LED lights right here. With 3.0, 3.1. Um, you got your, your C drive, your C, C type C connection. And of course, right here, we have uh, M.2. You can see M.2 slot. There is a thermal tape underneath of it. Uh, your GPU slot, and this is reinforced, all right? There's aluminum cover reinforcement here, of course. Battery for the motherboard. You got one, two, and three slots already ready to go. Micro, there's, there's a slot 4X, of course, that you can see. Um, we got another connection here for the actual, another another type of um, usb if you guys can see another 3.1 uh we got the jumpers that all go here all the connections have to connect from here you got your sata connections all embedded in here of course and you got plenty of connections for other things of course we got more for fans and other types of jumper here and that's what we're gonna do for the rgb lighting if you guys can see it it tells you right there rgb1 right so you got to know how to connect these these are proper for the motherboard uh, from 1 to 12 uh, i think it's a 5 volt on this one and the other one's 12 volt i have to look at the manual just to make sure that i'm not connecting the wrong course but overall the motherboard is a basic motherboard uh, you're able to run a lot of things on it uh, for 12th generation it's not bad uh, if you want to overclock it there's limitations on this one but you can do it and let me show you all the slots that you you have available you have one slot for the m.2 two right here and if you can see it this actually stretches here and then there's three and four we got four slots for m.2s plenty of space all right and let's see what is on the side um a version two a versions right here and 3.1 and then you got the um display port um uh, your hdmi the my mouse and then you have the ethernet and another one type c and uh and another one another 3.4 3.1 second generation and then you got all your audio got your audio connections in here um it looks okay it's nothing fancy of it but we've got plenty of connection what i'm more thrilled about is that we got a lot of slots for uh, a lot of m.2s of course um this one's going to be the main one we're going to start with one terabyte and then we're going to swap it over uh, got the audio rgb fan number five on this one fan number four um jtb this is uh jtb t1 we got a usb three usb one then we got a USB 2, two, SATA, two more SATA drives, if you guys can see that. Jumper, jumper 1, jumper 2, and then this is where all the connections are going to be um, jumper 1. This is where you're going to be connecting your, your desktop. Uh, JFP2. There's another one right here, a hidden one that I didn't even see that, and that is... Uh, the rainbow this is a how many satas we get 
Got four. One, two, three, four. Four connections. Let's keep going. Up, up, up. Let's see if there's any other more. Oh, there's another one right there. Another one for the fan. It's crazy. More fans. So I did have an error and it showed up a little red light there. It's because I wasn't getting enough power for my GPU, which is because the GPU wasn't connected properly. It was actually sticking out on this motherboard was actually, this case wasn't good for it. I had to remove this. And then that little red light went away. Don't have any issues. Uh, HyperX is working well with the actual motherboard. Um, even this water cooling system is working really well too. Integrated fans, I still have enough room for more fans. Uh, right now, these in the, these fans are not connected to the motherboard, they're connected to the power, but the LED is connected to the actual motherboard. Um, other motherboards don't have enough fans, but this one has plenty of fans, plenty of juice. Uh, I am going to clean up a little bit of the, uh, the cable so it could look a little better. But if you guys notice the bottom, I put all my all my M.2s in there, all four of them. And I end up putting, uh, of course, you know, I, like radiators on them because I want to keep it cool. I don't want to uh, get overheated. They do heat up. If you're going to game and transfer files and stuff like that, they, I recommend you install uh, a radiator on them and some thermal tape on them highly recommend you especially on a motherboard like this and if you notice there's still fan space for more fans uh able to move everything around in the in the size of the actual motherboard fit for this for this um uh, tower uh other than that the motherboard fits in perfect it's taking the latest and greatest of the gp uh, G, uh cpus and it's able to work well with any kind of water cooling um in fact it's working um, too well <laughs> it's actually telling me how cold it is and everything and everything looks really well made so haven't had an issue at all installing you do need to download the drivers it comes with a cd the drivers was a little headache so you have to download them to usb have them separate and highly recommend you put them on a usb prior to this because if you don't have a CD player, you're gonna need that so you could get the ethernet to work. Now, if you wanna spend $20 more, you could get the wireless feature built into the system. That is up to you, but I unfortunately, I didn't get that option, I didn't do that. I went straight for the ethernet because that's what I'm gonna be doing, ethernet. If I want a USB uh, a wireless, I'll just put a USB drive or something simple. So.